Our Frigidaire gas stove is putting off a large yellow flame from all the burners. It is leaving black soda all over our pans. I'm assuming that the burners slash fuel are not getting enough air. However, none of the instruction booklets state how to adjust this to get a blue flame. I believe I will have to remove the stove top but not sure how to do that, again, not in the booklet. I'm hoping you could walk me through this. A side note, it has been converted to be used with LP, or at least they said it was properly converted. Hi, welcome to Just Answer. Sorry to hear you are having appliance trouble, I know how frustrating that can be. My name is I look forward to helping you. It has not been properly converted. May I please have your model number so I am able to provide you with accurate, model specific information? Frigidaire model FGF 348 KSK serial number VF 23442237 original home owners said it was new when we moved in and they converted themselves. I guess the first thing I should do is check to see if it is properly converted right. Yes, definitely. If all burners are affected, they probably did not convert the regulator. Please allow me just a few minutes to prepare some information for you, thank you. The gas line from your home connects directly to the regulator on the range, shown at the link below. If you turn the gas off and remove the large nut at the top, you will see a little plug in there. It is flipped one way for NG and the other for LP. Can you see which side is selected? Click here. Thanks. First I've got to find where to turn my gas off at. I'm sure it's in basement, any thoughts on what to look for? There should be a valve behind the range, that is usually code. OK gas off and regulator found. However, it's turned around the other way. No access to the nut you speak of, am I supposed to take the regulator off? Or try to get to it through the drawer on the bottom, come in from front? Yes, we need to get to that cap. That is probably why it was not converted properly. They may have accidentally turned the regulator when they hooked up the gas line. You have to be careful with them because they are aluminum and will crack if they get tightened too much with the black pipe inserted. Honestly it seems it may be on correctly because although the nut on the regulator you speak of is facing towards the oven back, there is a hole cut out so it sits inside. Okay, well in any case, we need to get that nut off to see in what position that plug is in. Working on it now. Have to get at it through the bottom drawer but can't figure out how to get that drawer out of the way, back in a second. You bet, thank you. Sorry, computer crashed but I'm back. Plug is in the correct LP position. Okay, so they probably did not install the orifices, available below. Click here the oven orifices will simply screw down clockwise to convert to LP. Would I be able to tell by looking at them if they are the correct ones? Yes, the hole should be quite small in the orifices. NG orifices have much bigger holes. Do these look right? No, those are NG orifices. You need that kit. Good job. Let me grab a pick of the others. Sure, thank you. Might have made a breakthrough. Homeowner told me where the package was at where he put orifices. It has never been opened. However, I have a lot of different orifices, with smaller holes, 
all marked with colored paint. The package says kit number 316,255,500 how do I know which ones to use in which burner? There should be instructions with the orifices. Is there not? All that was in the sealed package were the orifices and a whole of labels in different languages stating it had been switched to LP with BTU ratings. Please allow me just a few minutes to prepare some information for you. Thank you. Some of the holes in the orifices I took out of the package look bigger than the ones I took out. I would order the kit, not knowing what exactly the first owner did. If I've got the kit in my hand, unopened, then why couldn't I just play it on the safe side and take out all the orifices and replace with new, no to be correct ones? Just need help making sure the correct one goes into each burner. They are all stamped with a number and have colored paint on them. If the orifices are bigger than what is in there now, they are not correct. They are not bigger, but do not look much smaller. Then again I know hundreds can make a difference. Do you happen to know which color goes in what burner? Will the oven have one of these orifices that needs to be changed too? No, the oven hoods will just screw down all the way. I am trying to get color chart for the top now. Right rear, 5k BTU, pink orifice right front, 14k BTU, brown orifice left rear, 9.5k BTU, white orifice left front, 9.5k BTU, white orifice center, 9.5k BTU, white orifice. Boom. Thanks, get on that. I don't need to do anything with the oven. Just screw the hoods down tight on the gas valve. The burner tube sits over the hood, just use a half an inch wrench to screw them down tight. Adjust clockwise for smaller flame, counterclockwise for larger flame. Do I get to that through the drawer? I'm not seeing anything in the oven itself. Yes, it is on the valve. I will see if I can get you a picture. Number 17 below, a brass orifice on that valve. Click here. Here is what I am seeing in regards oven. Remove the screw from the cover but it does not come off without taking the assembly apart. Do I need to do that, or is there something I'm seeing here that you're talking about? Turn the brass nut under the burner tube clockwise all the way tight. Do the burners on top have an air adjustment, or is it all controlled by the orifice? No, only the orifice control on those. You can adjust the low flame setting, though. You set the burner to the lowest setting and remove the knobs. There is a small set screw at the back of the burner shaft. Turning that screw clockwise you lower the low flame size. That way you can customize the low setting. That is nice if you do much specialty cooking that requires very low simmer heat. Blue flame all around. Let's home that ends the nasty black soot on our pans and hands. It should awesome job. Very well done. I admire your persistence and willingness to work through something unfamiliar. Please let me know if you have additional questions or need clarification. Please remember to rate before you leave, using the stars at the top of the page. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.